What's going on? This is Ron Carter, and you're listening to Lead, Sell, and Scale. This podcast is really just an accumulation of my entire journey when it comes to making money online. I think I start off in the very first episode of the first season talking about selling products on Shopify and then quickly move into affiliate marketing, which is where I made my first sales, and then insights that I learned as a coach and uh, really just documenting the whole journey. So I don't really sell anything on this podcast. If I do talk about links in some of the older episodes, they no longer work. Just letting you know that right up front. Uh, If you do want to check out some free training on what I help my clients do, you can always go to therealroncarter.com. But other than that, let's get right into the episode. What's good? What's good, everybody? Ron Carter here, your host of Ecom Billionaires, back at you with another episode. Today is episode 18, and we got something really special for you guys, because today's episode is actually a dual episode. I was interviewed by Sam Martinez the fourth, I believe, <laughs> either the fourth or the third. I'm sorry, Sam, but Sam Martinez. Um, I was interviewed by Sam Martinez for his PRA podcast um, and we talk all about um, progression and personal development and um, perseverance and uh, I'm really stoked about this episode because it's like the first time that I was able to really get my story out there of how I started um, marketing and how I got to where I'm at where I'm promoting click funnels and creating all this content and um, and how one thing led to another basically like the domino effect of uh, of events happening in my life and me reacting to them and and then eventually getting to this point now where I'm just so focused on creating content and helping other marketers out and basically every spare minute that I have so um but it was pretty cool and and I'm really glad that I was able to get on on this show and um it's kind of a longer episode for you guys so I'm just gonna get right into it and uh and just jump right into the call And, and just to let you guys know before we jump right into the call though um when the call starts uh, that's Sam speaking in the in the beginning because Sam is the one who initiated uh, this interview. This is actually the audio script from an IG t- from an IG live, an Instagram live that we did. And so um, this was a video recording. So if you do hear us talk about setting up video or making sure I'm comfortable, th- that's what we're talking about. Um, but it's still a perfect audio recording. Um, it's uh we went over some really valuable stuff i hope you guys enjoy it and uh here we go what's going on guys so about to go live with ecom billionaires podcast aka ron carter um let me send him an invite now <clears throat> super pumped for this guys let me send him an invite now i know you guys are gonna get a a lot of value from this um, we are going to be covering perseverance um, so you guys are going to definitely want to get this because this guy has definitely <laughs> come from the trenches for sure so let me just see if you got it what's up man yo can you see me yeah yeah I can see you now everything's okay. cool oh, okay I was like I was like oh shit you can't see me I was yeah. like, no. <laughs> like one way or another, we're gonna get this to work. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. It's all good, man. Uh, Dude, I'm. Oh, go. You go first. Go first. <laughs> I was just gonna say thanks, man. I'm uh, I'm stoked to to be here and and to do this and um, yeah, just just wanted to say thanks for the invite. Um, yeah. Yeah, of course, of course, man. Dude, I'm I'm super pumped for this. I've been watching your stuff and uh, I've, I've been following you for, you know, a good minute now, but uh, I was watching some of your videos and stuff and I just, uh, you're insanely inspiring, man. And um, I think a lot of people can benefit and, and um, learn a lot from you and your story. And I think that, you know, kind of, uh, I, I don't, I don't think anybody's really gotten like your story kind of like put out there. And kind of where you're coming from and, and, and like what your, your aspirations are as far as what you're doing, which I definitely think needs to be told because, um, with the proper context, I feel like once you 
get like where you're trying to go it'll like be perfect because you'll be like okay yeah like i called this shit like from the beginning and like you know what i mean right yeah um and 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 you just coming from where you've been i think it's very inspiring and i think a lot of people can get um some inspiration from that and feel motivated that even though they might be in a in a not in like a in a and not in a particular you know like the best situation or whatever you know right. it's not impossible to dig yourself out of the hole and kind of like you know get yourself back on on the ball a little bit you know what i mean so right um thank you for coming on man but first off um just all right setting this up real quick oh no no, no hold it you're good. However, however, you got to like get comfortable to do your thing, whatever you got to do. Um, but just real quick, man, um, I, I kind of like, you know, I watch your videos. I know that you have YouTube, um, your, you have your Ecom Billionaires podcast, um, which has actually a lot of value because I was listening to it. Um, and so what else, what else are you doing and what's kind of, um, your story and kind of like, you know who right give us give us kind of the the intro uh, of how you got how you got all this kind of stuff how you got the ball rolling because right um i don't think a lot of people know the full scoop of, of where you came from right um okay yeah it's, uh it's um it's kind of uh it's weird how one thing ends up leading to another because I mean, I never had any intention of being on all these platforms at the same time and like even when I started on the first one, like I was like, I'm just gonna go hard on this one thing, and that was just the podcast initially. Um, but um, but even then, uh, like basically, like uh, so, I started the podcast after I met up with um, with my mentor that I have now. Um, but before I started the podcast, I already had some experience with Shopify and drop shipping, like basically not really worried about providing value. I was like, uh, just trying to sell to make money, you know, like just trying to drop ship to make money. And, um, and that didn't really work out, you know? And so like I closed the store and, uh, and, uh, started learning about how to provide value and, um, and about how, like, how basically the, the long tail, like form on the internet, like these days, like how, how your content like stacks up, you know, over time. And that leads to like discovery, which leads to more people like seeing your offers over time, as long as you just keep consistently publishing. And, um, and when I learned this, I was thinking like, well, what's like some of the, the biggest platforms right now that people publish like consistently for a long period of time. And, um, and that's podcasting. And I've been, I mean, podcasting, blogging, um, but um, I've been listening to podcasts for a while too, for like five, six years, like consistently um while i'm at work while i'm at my day job and um so and i've been wanting to start one but i just didn't have like a reason or like something to talk about like for for years you know and um mm -hmm. and it wasn't until i started learning um, all this stuff about affiliate marketing when i like really took a step back from my shopify store and started like learning how to market like correctly by actually sparking people's interest and not like tricking them with countdown timers to like irrelevant like sales that aren't really ending and stuff like that you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> and, the uh, cliche like the cliche sales tactics right yeah like uh yeah so that's all the stuff that i was doing before you know and it wasn't really working and and it's funny because i was getting people on an email list and i wasn't even emailing them and so like <laughs> i was just like Oh, getting shit. customer acquisition <laughs> stuff, you know, and you're like, I have no problem with the acquisition. It's just, I don't know what to do really. After that. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> and so when I, when I took a step back and, um, and I started learning, um, about, I started learning about affiliate marketing with click funnels, but that was like, I, I kind of dove into that because, um, I connected click funnels with my Shopify store because, um, at one point in time, I, I stumbled across a YouTube video um, about what connecting a funnel does to your to your store, to whatever it is that you're that you're marketing, um, and what it does to your uh, to your average cart value per customer, um, and uh, and how to actually run a free plus shipping campaign like correctly, instead of like 
charging 15 bucks for shipping on an item that you say is free and everybody knows that it's just profit. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Cause that, that doesn't work anymore. It used to, <laughs> but it doesn't, you know? And, yeah. um, so like the, the real way is to actually have the item be free and have the, the price that they pay be as close to shipping as possible, but have that be the entrance into a funnel where then they get upsold another product that's related or that solves a problem that, the first product might create, you know, cause some, you know, some products solve a problem, but they also create another problem. Um, yeah. Uh, I can't think of something off the top of my head for that. I was trying to think, but anyways. Um, so I started diving into that and trying to like boost the ROI of my Shopify store. And then I started to see like what's really capable with click funnels from, from doing that. And, um, and that's when like I started looking into affiliate marketing just because of, the revenue because you don't have to like after I started drop shipping, I really learned that drop shipping and like selling physical products is more of a setting up a distribution line. And, um, cause that's really where most of the work is because like you get a sale that comes in and now you have to get this product from this, um, from this third party uh, company in China to mm -hmm. this person's address. And you have to do it like in a timely manner and be connected with this person through the process because, most likely it's going to take a while to get to them and they're going to be asking where's my stuff and so you have to have like offers um like already made to kind of satiate them for when they when they email you and and, and all kinds of extra stuff um that uh nobody really thinks of right off top um yes yeah, when, so when, when you have like a, when you have like a shopify store they don't take care of like the distribution like as far as that goes or um, well, it depends on what you're doing with your Shopify store because, you know, you could have a Shopify store, um, like if you're actually selling physical products that, that you actually have already, um, cause you know, you can buy products in bulk from, uh, from Alibaba and buy like a thousand, um, items of, of whatever, you know, you can find, you know, item that you want to sell and, uh, and buy a thousand items of it and then actually get it sent to a distribution center and, and every time somebody orders through your Shopify store, the you know it gets um, sent out from the distribution center, and the distribution center will do that for a fee. But you know usually you don't really want to be doing anything like that unless your store is making like a hundred thousand a year. You yeah, know? unless you're like those big profit like, right like uh, companies or whatever. Like like your 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 store is like a big profit. I right. think it, and it, it doesn't take that long really to get to that from from what i hear i haven't done it myself um and, and i'm kind of glad that i didn't because if i did i would still just probably be selling on shopify and selling products that i'm not really passionate about because that's that's really what kind of stopped it you know but um for me but um yeah it's like uh there, there's so many options the shopify the shopify platform is basically just a storefront online just like um just like eBay or Amazon, but the only difference is you can have your, uh, you know, you can have your web address on there too. Just like, you know, it's just like a WordPress with an integrated I, shopping cart. Oh, really? So that's yeah. pretty. It's the, just super it simple. And, uh, and it's not as complicated as WordPress. You don't have to deal, deal with code really. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. I didn't know that. I didn't know that part. I didn't know that you didn't have to deal with like any of the code or like any of that stuff. <clears throat> um, so how, so you went from Shopify to um, the ClickFunnels affiliate stuff, and then you yeah. started doing the <laughs> from that. Yeah. Is that kind of what? I went from uh, I went from uh, Shopify to like ClickFunnels with Shopify, and um, and then I started looking into the affiliate program um, on my own, uh, just because it was hard to sell and. It was hard to sell because I wasn't selling correctly. I didn't know this. Yeah, thing. yeah. You know, I thought like, oh well, it, it's so funny. Right. <laughs> You're right. I was selling um hiking and camping gear, and the one product that I was like really trying to sell was this uh um those uh what are they the those um like metallic blankets? I forgot exactly what they're called. Like, uh, I was so not passionate. It was like. I was just picking <laughs> product, picking items that I think people would buy. Um, the emergency blankets, the survival blankets, uh, the like space okay, blankets okay. or whatever. Um, so I was trying to sell those, but it was like August and, uh, 
And so I was thinking, oh, people aren't buying these because it's like hot outside, right? That's why it's not working. But um, really, you know, like I kept changing like how my funnel looks because I thought maybe that was it. I could just make it look better. But really, it's because there was no pictures of me. There was no videos of me. It was just like stuff there on the no website. There was no person behind. Right. Like, yeah. Exactly. It was just a logo selling a, a blanket, like a metallic blanket, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like this generic blanket. thing. <laughs> so um when i started trying to affiliate market um and uh basically i just went through the click funnels training originally and i thought that it was like awesome and um hey, what's going on bella but i thought it was awesome and um i it, it's good but it's not like everything that that you need when it comes to like producing content and like growing your audience because um, it's it's really good if you have money to spend on ads, but if you don't, um, th it mm -hmm. starts off with teaching you how to how to like set up your funnel, um, how to like set up your email marketing, and then um, you know get paid traffic to your to your funnel. And even if you get paid traffic and they don't know who you are, um, you know you might get some opt-ins, and then you might be able to like warm them up on your email list. But a lot of times you're going to have to retarget them and run ads again um, to get them to see you again, to, to get them to opt in. And, and if you don't have um, the money to be able to do that, because another thing that I'm realizing is with, or that I've realized is that with paid ads, you need to run like multiple creatives for the same ad. Um, Gary Vaynerchuk talks about this all the time. Um, I still haven't got to do it yet. So but the next Facebook ad that I'm running probably by the end of the month um for expert secrets review that i'm going to do uh, the next facebook ad that i'm going to run i'm going to be doing this where i'm running like multiple video creatives for for different people so like maybe if i'm targeting uh people who are 50 years and older um yeah. who have a, a career already but still want to get interested in affiliate marketing and have been on my website yeah. um i could make a video speaking directly to them and then you know so on and so on for different categories but each one of those ads are going to cost, you know, whatever I'm running, if it's 10 bucks a day and all the different yeah. variations. And get, yeah. And then there's a certain amount that you want to run too, along right. with that. They definitely, you want to be seen. <laughs> right. yeah. So, so how, um, so when did you, uh, when did you officially start the whole journey? Because I know that, you know, you, you came from a pretty, you know, a pretty, uh, a lot of people don't come from, the place that you were at and are able to do the things that you're doing now. So like how, how long is it taking you to really like mentally get to where you are now? Like enough to be able to sustain the, like to sustain what you're doing and consistently do it. Cause it's, it's one thing to like say that you're going to start to do this. Right. It's a whole nother thing to like actually produce the content and do it consistently because right. I, you know, even, even just like with me, like it, just, you know, I, I just I have regular family stuff, regular job too, and everything like that. It's, it's even hard for me to just push out content or push out videos or like, you know, make a video or even want to push out content in any of the platforms. Like, how did you? Uh, how long? How long have you been on this journey? And how long did it take you to really mentally come to like grips with the whole process? Right. Um, well, it, it's been. Um, I've been like producing content and. Um, and really like diving into all this, like I started that Shopify store last July. Actually, it might have been June. It was around June of uh, 2018 when I when I started my Shopify free trial. And um, and really, I started all this. Um, I really think what fueled like my my growth because like all I've really been doing since I started is this. Like in all my time off was like for for months it was consuming content and just learning. And then that led to me realizing that like, I need to be like, have some sort of ratio where it's like, um, you know, 80% consumption, 20% production. Like I need to be producing content too, even if it's just about what I'm consuming. And then like slowly yeah. that ratio is like switched now, you know, um, over time. But, but what like really fueled me into doing all that was, um, you know, aside from like, what I've been through like years back with like homelessness and, and addiction and like 
being able to like progress and like or learning to progress and learning to like move forward um regardless of where i'm at like today um that that's kind of like made it a little bit easier to like kind of push forward no matter what the results are because it's like i've i've been there like in a sense but um what really like kind of fueled me like wanting to get results quickly was um last year i got into an accident uh i got hit by a car um i remember hearing about that on your on your youtube but i didn't know like how bad it was or anything like that so it, i didn't it wasn't I didn't, yeah, it, it it wasn't like life threatening or nothing. I mean, um, it it could have been like like I got hit and um and I got thrown up the street and like I got pinned to the front of the car and then like thrown when the dude stopped, um, but it like jacked up my knee and uh and um, but long story short, I don't want to get into all the, like the details. Like I had to go to physical therapy for a few months and I was out of work and um, uh, for a few months. And um, like using my sick leave and uh, ah, for a few so, months. yeah, for about two and a half months, um, just going to physical therapy. And then I went back to work after two months, but still had physical therapy for a month um, after that. What so was it was like that? three what months was total. Like, what were you doing therapy on exactly? Uh, oh, I had um, uh, like multiple, like three tears, three partial tears in my right meniscus. And I had a uh, in my right knee, and I had um, three contusions in my knee as well, and uh, and a Baker cyst. So basically, when I got hit, because like I got hit on the side, and the bumper, um, the bumper like hit me right on the right side of my knee, on the outside of my knee, and then like the bumper hit me, and then that threw me up onto the hood, and so like then I got stuck with the front of the car, and. Um, but in that process, um, like it tore, partially tore those um, ligaments in my knee. So I didn't need surgery, but I needed a bunch of uh, physical therapy to get those yeah. partial tears to heal. And um, yeah. and I was also getting it on my back because um, when like I bent over the car, I got a herniated disc in my back. Um, uh, I didn't even uh, know that. I like uh that surprised me when I got MRI. I thought my back <laughs> was just constantly hurting from the crutches like that I was on, you know? Uh, um, and, uh, but yeah, so the physical therapy was for that stuff. And okay. um, yeah, but so my mindset though, my mindset is, is what, um, it wasn't good. I thought it was good. Um, before that, like I was like trying to like get into modeling and, and it was really because a bunch of people told me that I could. It wasn't because something that I really wanted to do. Um, yeah. I mean, I tried it and, and like it was cool enough and interesting enough that like I went with it for a while. Like even on my IG, if you scroll all the way down, like those original pictures have, were yeah, from no, that, you know? <laughs> I, that was like one of the first things that I did whenever I, I first started following you. I scroll all the way down, just kind of see what your first posts were and stuff. Right. Um, and then I'm just like, I was like, oh, dang, this fool's a model too. Jeez. Like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like, um, like fake it till you make it. You know, I was like, um, I'll explore this a little. Right. And, uh, but really, like, all of that has had like its place in, in my development. Like, I, I've realized this because before that, I wasn't really like constantly posting on social media. Um, like I wasn't really, I wasn't even on Instagram. Like I had an Instagram account that I never used from like a couple years ago. Um, and so like that forced me to get an Instagram account because it was like, okay, I need to actually, because I went to, um, uh, a fashion show. Like I walked in a fashion show and that's what like sparked that. Somebody asked me to, to walk in a fashion show and, and I did. And one of the first things that they asked when like they were signing my name in was my, my Instagram handle. And I didn't even remember it. Like that's how, <laughs> that's how like not often I used it. And I had to like oh, look yeah. it up, and it was like hella embarrassing. And I was like worried <laughs> about what everybody thought, and and, and nobody cared funny really. You know, funny that we're in a time now where that's like uh, that's like a thing. It's like, well, yo, what's your Instagram handle too? And it's like, oh, I gotta remember that on top of. Yeah, but um, so. 
like uh so i started putting up pictures and, and videos and really i was getting into like photo editing because i was doing most of my stuff because i couldn't afford um good pictures and i was just like like on this grind so that it was really similar to this grind kind of but the only difference is it was more exploratory than like really like driven you know and, and yeah, i can see a big yeah. difference in it because a lot of it really did feel like work i would have be like i would have to motivate myself to get up and go walk to a certain part of the city and set the camera up and take a picture of myself and like go buy clothes to do it and and um yeah and if that's not something i realized like one day because i had my shopify store going at the same time um as that um and there was an event for for a photo shoot but then there was also like this ad campaign that i was trying to like get going with this influencer that i was like talking with and um and i thought like i gotta choose one or the other and um i can't do both of these at the same time and so that's when i really knew like well this is what i'm doing i'm not even getting paid and i, and I want to keep doing this the other thing feels like work so um, yeah the thing that yeah no that's crazy keep yeah. going sorry <laughs> so, so um but to kind of go back to your to your question though um that uh that accident we were expecting to get like a big payout um basically just because like i still have a baker cyst it's still in my knee and and i really don't know if i'm going to need surgery to get rid of it or not depending on how if it acts up or if it starts hurting or, or whatever so just because of that they were asking for like um for a lot um a lot for for anybody who's not like in business or making money like um so we thought we were going to get like 300,000 which would be like 100k for each of us and uh and I was thinking like oh, it was going to be so easy to get like an awesome portfolio and, and start like really just doing this that's what I was thinking yeah. like I could spend all this money to like just boost my career like somehow yeah. and um not and, like being so, but you were trying to build. You were trying to build. Right. <laughs> but I'm so glad that that didn't happen now, though. You know, um, it, it's crazy, like, how things turn out. Because, like, from that not happening, like, all the way up until, like, like a week before the payout, like, when we were getting ready to, like, we knew that they were getting ready to, like, give us a response for the offer um that that my lawyer had sent out and this is after all the medical um stuff was finished so like we had the doctor's bills and everything like that and um and then we got their response and and the guy's lawyer um had uh or the guy had liability insurance he didn't have full coverage and we we just were operating off the we just thought that he had full coverage and um yeah and so when we found that out we we're like well um, the hundred thousand dollar payout went from a hundred to five, and uh, oh, man. and then they're like, "But it's gonna be here next week, so though." So that's the good news. And I was like, "Okay, you know." And, <laughs> and <laughs> but now, now I'm grateful though, because like that, like like I was super pissed and, and like sad and and sorry for myself. For like a whole day and crying like to the world and woe was me like um yeah. nothing ever goes right and this and that which, and which the which the ego does from time to time you know <laughs> right yeah yeah it, it's like uh you know even i i feel like no matter how like on point you are like like spiritually or, or like how much of like uh like how much meditation you do like there's some situations that are, that are going to like warrant that response you know um no, yeah. no matter how long like you stay in it you know um yeah and and that definitely was one of them and uh <laughs> <laughs> and so um but like a few days later um what that turned into was like this like resolve to like like i realized that like okay like you were just crying about how nothing ever goes right and nothing's basically ever fucking handed to you right and and so maybe all you have to do is just take this money that you are going to get and figure out how to turn that into whatever it is that you want or need um and so that started with me just googling how to make money online 
And, um, and the first things that I gravitated towards, it, it wasn't Shopify at first. It was like, um, in-store audits and, uh, and, um, yeah, in-store audits and uh, I forgot, in-store audits is the one thing that I actually like followed through with. Oh, um, scanning receipts, like scanning receipts after you buy them for like customer uh, data and like there's like <laughs> right. apps for this. Yeah, um, I can't remember the names of these apps. Like this is not, it's not really a shout out or a bash on them or anything. It's just that um, like I actually did this for a while and it turns out that like the time, like I made some money um, doing like some store audits uh and like i audited like a sprint store and like a best buy like basically auditing like their stand for a product that they have out and it was like in depth it was in depth like i had to even ask the best buy like attended certain questions about the product and like and like uh fill in the multiple choice like response and all of it was for five bucks right and um and so like i thought it was gonna be super quick and i saw that there was a couple like uh, spots that I can go to in the mall because it pulls up a, na a map with all the locations in your city that are like that have um, you know audits that you can do and uh, so but I'm taking the bus so like I would like travel <laughs> to this Best Buy right and then go get this five bucks and and I was I doing think... this like instead of working overtime because like I was like I don't want to work overtime and and part of that is just because I don't really like I've worked there for a while and I feel like I've grown out of the position that I have there. Not like where I want to get like promoted, but I mean like just the yeah. job in general. You know, like I took it as a stepping yeah. stone um, job. So yeah, that's what I started doing. But I was still like looking for other stuff, and um, and I came across some YouTuber. Uh, that I, I can't really remember is like one of those random YouTubers that just shows up with like just the right info, like when you need it, you know? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I know and exactly like, what you're talking about. Right. <laughs> and it, it's not like some huge person. It's somebody with like, you know, you know, a thousand subs or something like that, just doing their yep, thing. Yep. And it's yeah. Like, it's like the one video that hit like 22K. Right, like right. <laughs> it was like a year ago. And it's like, exactly. oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, well, I ran into one of those, and um, and I was looking for other alternatives to making money online. And the one topic like that they covered very briefly because they didn't have any experience in it, but they had seen like people making money was drop shipping with Shopify. And so that's where I got like started with that. And so that's when I started YouTubing about drop shipping with Shopify and how to do that. But um, it wasn't until like going through that process and learning like. Well, I didn't really learn what I needed to do to sell. I just learned that I didn't know how, um, how to sell. Yeah. And, and, uh, I got introduced to click funnels and it, and it wasn't long until like I read Russell Brunson's books because I realized like if I'm trying to use this software, I should probably read the books that the guy wrote. Um, the guy who created it wrote, um, that's all about how it works and, and like how to integrate it with your business. And, and so when I read those books, it really opened like, it really opened my eye to what's possible or my eyes to what's possible. And, and the main message was publishing. And so even when I, when I read it, it was like, okay, I knew that I was going to have to like start doing something consistent to let people know who I am. At the same time, I realized that all these people that I'm learning from, I'm learning from them because they have content. That's how I even know about them. And, and when I realized that, that's when I, that's when it really like shifted to be like, okay, I need to stop going on YouTube and looking at it like a TV platform. And I need to look at it like, like what Gary Vaynerchuk says, like it's my own broadcasting station. Like it's a camera that's for me to other people's TV, you know? Yeah. Um, and, uh, which you do a great job of, by the way, I, I just want to say that. <laughs> thanks man. Um, yeah. you know, all that other stuff though, that I was doing, um, I realized that like, like being comfortable on, on on camera, it's just like repetition. You know, like the more you do it, uh, the the more comfortable you get without like thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, it's, like it's like the less you care about the way like you appear, and you just like okay, it starts to get old. Like the caring part of it starts to get old. <laughs> right. Kind of like make a video here, and I'm getting tired <laughs> with with caring about like how I look or how I sound or what like the perfect video is. So I'm just gonna make a video because. 
it needs to get out. <laughs> like, exactly. Get exactly. No, but that's awesome, man. It sounds like, you know, you've come like quite a long way. How, how did you, um, so, so what do you do now with, um, with the whole click funnels thing? Are you still affiliate marketing with that? Or is, yeah. like, is that, cause I know that in your podcast, you were talking about, um, doing that. Uh, and you were talking about like your, your first thousand dollar day. I remember that, um, that story as well, which congratulations on that. Also, I would be, I would be extremely pumped if I went to work and I just looked at my account at like 1200 bucks. That'd be freaking awesome. Right. It was, yeah, it was but an awesome like, day. But yeah. So, um, like how, 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 like how, um, are you still doing that or like, how, <laughs> like, how is that going? And, and what's like your main because you're putting out content now and then you're, um, you know, you're, you are doing kind of like the affiliate stuff. Like what, right. is that all you're doing right now? Like, like what's the main, like overall kind of vision for what you're, um, like what you're doing? I know you have the podcast too, obviously. Right. But like, are you just trying to like educate people for now and then just see where it goes or like, well, what? um, it's actually, um, it's actually like pretty structured, um, like in my mind at least, uh, like all the content that I'm putting out and like what it's about, it, it's I'm putting it out because it's basically it's for a reason and it's because it's the content that I feel like I needed before I made it. You know what I mean? It, yeah. Like when I was doing the Shopify, um, it's when I was trying to sell and not I wasn't worried about giving any value and it never worked. And and, and also um uh like with the with click funnels like i'm not a real big fan of like just pushing people to like get stuff like because like i experienced like with my mentor um that i have now uh the the training that i went through with him um the only cost of entry was signing up under his link it it wasn't like 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 i got all this training and like ongoing coaching um by signing up under his affiliate link and um and it really showed me that like when you when you do the affiliate game right when you when you make a bunch of content around stuff that you're passionate about so that way you can keep making it and it doesn't feel like a grind and and the stuff that you use on that journey that you love that 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 you would promote no matter what because um because you actually do use it and love it um you, you promote that as your affiliate links and you can put those links in a funnel and it just so happens that the that the affiliate that the software or that the thing that i'm promoting um is the like i'm promoting click funnels but i use click funnels to promote click funnels yeah you know, the like, click funnel. yeah you like um, use a funnel to, to promote the funnel <laughs> right but but like, i can build a funnel to promote anything though you know like you can put yeah. any affiliate link in there and you can put any information on the funnel and have the video you know, on the page, be whatever you want. Um, uh, but um, it just so happens that ClickFunnels affiliate program is awesome and, and it has this recurring revenue factor. Um, and so basically like I'm putting out all this content to help other people that are affiliate marketing um, and to help other people that are just marketing in general. I'm not really trying to pull people from their other projects. I, at first I wanted to help, I wanted to like get people from Shopify onto ClickFunnels. That's what I was thinking like when I was on episode one of, of my podcast and I kind of talked about Shopify a lot in that first episode, yeah, but, but I never really do. Yeah. Uh, and, and really it's because the, the podcast is me documenting my experience. And the only way to be completely real with that is to document my experience. And in that first episode, I was doing Shopify stuff or, and I was planning on like, um, you know, having a Shopify and connecting ClickFunnels to it and making screen recordings of that, like later on, I couldn't do it then because I didn't have um, a good enough computer. Uh, my computer that I had then was like, like the kind of computer that when you try to open YouTube and something else, like it shuts down, you know, it's just like <laughs> not functional. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I had to make some money to, to be able to upgrade a little bit to, to make more content. Um, but uh so the, this whole thing though is i'm trying to like i'm trying to grow an audience of people who are like-minded who need the help that i needed um because i'm just trying to teach people what um what i'm learning as i learn it and um 
and like grow eventually grow a community so that they can help each other and at the same time teach them that like you can sell stuff that you're really passionate about and have it actually help other people and not feel bad about any of the money that you make because of it because yeah. you're going to be making sales and at the same time the people that are buying are going to be thanking you and be super they're going to be super grateful that they bought something through your link and um and when you do it right and you give a bunch of value up front and you also provide value with whatever the offer is like um like for instance instead of just saying like instead of me selling you know macbooks like an affiliate uh, like I show my MacBook and put a link from where you can get a MacBook actually having um, a funnel there where I, where like they click a link and then there's a video of me talking about the MacBook giving like my experience with it and then I'm um, and letting them letting them know that if they opt into the list that I'm going to keep giving them good content and value um, and just take them along my journey and then have like a an, an opt-in for a list so that way um, you know they opt into the list and then they get taken to the affiliate page and uh but at the same time sorry i'm like all over the place but at the oh, same yeah, time <laughs> um like actually provide like a bonus package like let them know like in that video that there's like this you know whatever they might want to go with the macbook whether it's um you know uh, a nice case or you know extra whatever's gonna yeah, go with add whatever on, it is add on add-ons yeah. um and, and when it comes to um like marketing that's like extra training or actual like funnels that you can download for yourself or coaching or you know access to secret facebook groups or or whatever um you know when it comes to like value and information um you know the possibilities are endless when it comes to putting together bonus packages to give away with your affiliate um sales especially and, and, when you have that much content too Right. And, and that's, that's the other benefit of creating content because like recently I put together, um, a perfect customer avatar worksheet and, um, and I put it on my blog and it's my first option that I put on there. Um, I just been putting out content and not even like my website's not like all the way finished. Um, <laughs> but, uh, so I like finally decided like, okay, I can put an opt-in up here, but I didn't want to have one that just says like subscribe to our newsletter. I wanted to have, like, you know, an opt-in where you actually get something that you're going to use. It's going to help you for your business. And, and like, you yeah. actually feel good about giving me your email address, you know, um, because, you know, you want this thing that I'm going to send you and, and it's going to help. And when I finally, like, got it together, it wasn't difficult to put together at all because I've had, you know, a few episodes about it. I've had, like, a couple YouTube videos about it. And, and, and all that stuff, all that content, those are like extra resources at the end of the PDF that that like you provide. So like those links are in the PDF. And at the same time, it helps you out because people get to see your content and um, it sends more people to your stuff. But then it also helps clarify and give them context because I feel like context is so important when it comes to like providing value and in and, and your content. Um, you know, and the more you publish and the more information that you give, the, the better context yeah. people people get. And then they could take that from your, from your and apply it. Right. So, yeah. yeah, that's that's like been been the grind. And, and, and I'm trying to build this and set this up so that I don't know what I'm going to end up selling later on. Um, but I know that, like, I'm basically doing this affiliate marketing for ClickFunnels. Um, to grow my audience in the process, but at the same time, um, build up my reoccurring revenue. So eventually I could leave the day job and, um, and be able to start, you know, my own business, whatever it happens to be. Um, I'm, I'm just staying open to, uh, because I know that this year, like, I feel like this year, um, is like a transformation year almost for me. And I say that because like in January, I, I noticed I didn't do this on purpose, but I noticed that I started doing a lot of extra stuff. Like that's when I started doing like the video DM thing and, um, and just like really focusing on just giving stuff and putting stuff out. And, um, and I've seen like what happens from that is people, even if I don't have that many followers, the people that show up, they stay or they interact and they engage. Yeah. And, um, yeah. and so, it's like a snowball effect. And I know that like, 
as soon as I saw that, I knew like, if I just keep doing this for a year, like it's gonna be crazy. And then I thought, well, like, what if that year is me just getting started? And then, I, and then that's when I like really realized like, um, if I just do this and provide value and to see where it goes, like, I don't need to know exactly where it's going to go, to go like, like ultimately. Um, but I know that um, it's going to go somewhere and, um, and wherever it goes, as long as I, as long as I follow what, what I love and that, and what I'm, um, and right now what I, what I really love is giving, but not in like a corny way. I really like it because it makes me feel good. Like, to be honest, yeah. like, when somebody messages me and says that something helps like that feels awesome, you know, yeah, and um, the impact, the impact, man, it, like it, it like, it gives you peace of mind. I don't know what it is about it. It just is like, I'm the same way. Like, it's just like, I, I got to be at least like knowing that something that I did at least, you know, it, if it benefited your life in any way or made you think differently and made you open your mind even just a little bit, man, like that could, potentially be the shift in your life and that's like that's all i want too you know what i mean that's, and like right. uh you can see it and that's that's one thing that i actually have learned from you since watching you is i was in such a i felt like i was in such a rush to get it like figured out like to get it placed and laid down and like to like because like you know you don't want to wait that year like you know what I mean? you don't want to wait that 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 year to Right. to really lay it all down and lay it all right and 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 the way that you explain it and the way that you go through your mistakes and you go through everything like that, it's like you can tell that like your um your your uh like you're yearning for it but you are very patient in the way that you're doing it because it's like okay like i'm gonna i'm gonna like this isn't a sprint it's a marathon i'm gonna take my time i'm gonna do it right i'm gonna take this year i'm gonna take it day by day and really learn this shit and apply it. And you guys could all watch me. Go ahead and fucking watch me and my faults and all this shit. And then it's like, it's like, so that way, whenever you, it's cool because when you make it and because, and like whenever you start to gain some traction, everybody's going to already know that like you've been through every in and out. You know what I mean? And it's like, they're going to be like, okay, yeah, I really can trust this dude because I've been watching this whole since since before he even knew what to do on LinkedIn and he had, you know what I mean? Like this many connections, like it's crazy. Like it's, right. it's crazy. And that, that's why, like, that's why I wanted to like make it a point because I, because I'm kind of like you with the way that I want to um, like build, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what I want to sell yet. I know that like, you know, I have a, I have a book written and unedited that I want to finish publishing. Like I know that I have like these things I have, I have information. I have uh, the stuff that I learned as well. Cause you know, I basically for the longest time up until recently, was just painting houses, you know, eight hours a day, 10 hours a day, 11 hours a day, just with earbuds in my fucking ears, just listening to podcasts, like not doing shit, but just listening, listening to shit. You know what I mean? Like just because that's right. all I could do. And if, if I could do something, I got to do something. So it's like, I get where you're coming from. And it's like, that's what I want is I want, be able to kind of do what you're doing and be able to give people value the only thing that, that you do that i am very that's very foreign to me that i know of but i've never applied any of it is the whole funnel thing like i've never like i've never learned enough about you know about it all like i, I know i know i know about russell brunson obviously you know and like what click funnels are like what a funnel is how it works like the whole why you do it and everything like that but Right. The way that like you're able to like do it and the way that you're able to like the way that you're able to span everything on every platform, I think is something that I'm learning from you as well, just because it's like the patience and the like the amount of like because I see you on everything. I see you on Twitter, LinkedIn, um, you know, Facebook, like all that stuff. And it's like you you have a good amount of information on each platform. And I think that's something that I definitely need to get better at um, at this point, because I've made a lot of content. It's just getting it out in the right ways at this point mm -hmm. and figuring out like, you know, with like the, the whole subtitle thing, like how you, how I asked you, you know what I mean? Like just little things like that. Like if I can get subtitles on and make the videos a little bit better, if I can do this and make that a little bit better. But I definitely like, I, I relate to the way that you're doing everything. So you're definitely doing an amazing job with what you're putting out. Um, and I, and I, 
and I just I look forward to seeing the way that you do grow in this year because you know just from even just talking with you now dude I was super pumped to get on here with you um just because I know we have mindsets and the way that we think and stuff and like you know what I mean and it's like I'm I'm just I'm really excited to see we're going to be out in the year and stuff and like keep talking in that year just to kind of keep growing keep learning from each other keep you know what I mean? And really see kind of like yeah. where we're at and what, what, what we develop and what we're able to do and what kind of traction we're able to do, be able to get, man. Cause you know, like people like you being with the humility that you show and just being as open and honest as you are, like, dude, you're going to go far. Like you're going to go far. You know what I mean? And I, it, it's an honor really to like be able to get to know you now because it's like, I love the whole, like, like I love the the what ah, damn what I'm like losing the what what is it like the the Cinderella story like I, I I love the whole fucking like you know you come from the bottom dude and you don't have shit and you make something in yourself you know what I mean and that's what I see like from you and so um just like keep doing what you're doing man because you you're doing it right and it's gonna take some time like you obviously know but we're I all appreciate gaming. it man we're all gaining some kind of value. So I know that that's what you want and that you're doing a great job. So but thank yeah. you, man. Yeah. That's, that, that's really the goal is like provide value. I mean, I mean, I know I say it all the time. I feel like I'm a broken record when I say provide <laughs> value now, but it's true. It's um, true. I, I, I've also heard some people say that um, if you don't feel like that, then you're not getting your message out enough because people don't yeah. feel like that yet. You know? Um, so, um, but yeah, I feel like a broken record when I'm saying when I say provide value, but it like it provides value to me. I've realized that like even before I was making like videos on Instagram about this kind of stuff, um, but um but I was still like getting started publishing. Like when I first got my first affiliate sales, it was from um answering questions in Facebook groups and, and like just going super just going super hard on like questions and like like really detailed, like long, like four to five full three length. Scrolls, like three, right. yeah, yeah. Checking that podcast. <laughs> <laughs> like I didn't and, even and, know, like, I didn't even know I was typing that much either. <laughs> right, right. Like those ones where you just like go in and like there's a whole bunch of typos, but everybody's cool with it because it's like you could tell it's almost like a um, stream of consciousness type like answers, <laughs> yeah. but like really valuable stuff in there. Um, but like I was doing stuff like that and just really like providing value and, and, but I didn't know that that's what I was doing. I just like, was like, let me just answer some questions and like try to connect with people. Like, and I was trying to specifically get them into my funnel, um, into this training funnel and that I had. And at first I was like putting, like answering questions and then putting the link in the bottom of the question and saying like, I learned all this in this training or whatever. Um, and uh and it didn't work and and, i mean it wasn't just one time it was like multiple times in all these groups and and, um and i realized that it's because like everybody can feel that i'm trying to get them to do something and 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 they feel that more than they feel the answer to the question you know and um and they don't trust that and and i wouldn't either and so that's and and it wasn't until I took that away and it didn't really make sense. But my mentor was like, yeah, just don't, don't even put that. And I was like, whoa, like, how am I supposed you know, to do that? <laughs> right. <laughs> and he's like, they'll find you, man. They will find you. And I was like, okay. And I, and I started doing it. And surely enough, like, like they will, if the people that resonate with your content, when you, when you put it out, especially when you're answering questions for other people, because you're like selflessly like providing value for somebody else who's like, actually like um who's actually like been brave enough to ask for help in whatever it is that they're going through you know or whatever it is that they need assistance with um they were they were willing to just ask you know and 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 that's really an opportunity for anybody who's willing to answer um i mean just because you get that equity i mean what ends up happening is is they like you they they want they if you give them what they need in that moment, then they know that they can, you know, come to you again for the same thing. And, and if, and if they, you know, keep having questions, 
Right. Yeah. They can rely on you and, and they'll connect with you. And, and those are the people that you really want to build your audience out of in the first place. Um, it's going to take time to be able to do that. Um, and, uh, but yeah, when I started doing that, that's when I started to get people into my funnels. And that's when I got my first affiliate sales. And, and those sales um, turned, uh, one of those um, signups for ClickFunnels turned into that $1,000 day um, because the ClickFunnels program has uh, sticky cookies. And basically it's like when you sign somebody up to the program or, or like when they sign up under your link, even if they just buy uh, like a free book and pay the shipping on it or something like that. Um, they're, they're coded to you. Um, so if they go back to ClickFunnels, um, as long as they don't click somebody else's link, if they go back to ClickFunnels and um, and buy anything, you're going to get 40% of it, even if it's like six months down the road. Um, and so, oh, really? wow. right. Yeah, and so that's how I got that $1,200 sale, um, or that $1,200 uh, commission. Um, because somebody that signed up for ClickFunnels, uh, bought um, tickets to a live event and they spent like five grand to go to um, some coaching event. I'm not sure exactly which one it, or what it was, but um, yeah. And I don't think that would happen. How, how long after, how long, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. How long after, uh, how long after, do you know? Um, that that like person, uh, they signed up in, I think it was, it was like three weeks, two weeks. Cause they signed up in like, the last week of November, and that that commission came in like the first week of December. Um, oh, wow. So it was like, yeah, like they went through their free trial actually in the beginning of November, and like like mid November, like they paid their first bill, and so that's when I saw like some money come in from them. Um, because like how it works is like you know they pay their bill, and I, I can see like my forty percent, like like my portion of it. I can see that in my affiliate dashboard, but it's not like released to me. They they have to um it has to go through like a thirty day wait period. So ClickFunnels is making sure that nobody refunds before they pay out um affiliate oh, payments. Yeah. That's how how most affiliate programs work. There's um kind of like like a cool off period after a sale, just to make sure that you know the person's cool with whatever they bought and that they're not gonna you know try to get their money back. Um, they make sure that that's good before they pay out um, commissions usually. So yeah. I was still waiting for that when the $1,200 came in. Um, but uh, yeah, man, it's just been like, like what you were saying, it's just been like a consistent grind of like putting stuff out and like testing and learning and testing and learning and, and just repetition and putting in the reps and you know, small changes over time add up and they turn into big things. And and this started out as just a podcast and three episodes in, I realized that how am I going to get people to my funnels from my podcast? Like, how am I going to get them from, you know, usually people are listening and they're active and they're doing stuff and they're listening to podcasts. And I thought, mm -hmm. how am I going to get them to a website from a podcast? And I thought, uh, well, if I provide show notes and like links to um, valuable stuff that's mentioned in the show and, and extra resources that you're not really going to get just from listening because I'm, um, you know, I can't, pro you know, you're not going to get links to other stuff and freebies and yeah. stuff that's going to help with whatever the episode's about. Um, not, but I can, yet, not yet, anyways, with technology. Right, not yet. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> not Be yet. like, go to, go to the link. Go to the link in the show notes on this podcast, please. <laughs> right, it's <laughs> it's on its way for real. <laughs> um, and uh, so yeah, I just thought, well, okay, if I have like a website and I, and I and and I'm putting out each episode like as a blog post, um, then you know, I can maybe get people like off of the podcast onto the website and then eventually have them opt into a list because once you get them like opted into an email list, that's when you can just send them emails and, and actually be providing value in the emails. And then they, in giving them basically the entrances to your funnels that, that you're that's building. Like, yeah. That's like lifelong funnel, right. funnel right there. <laughs> <laughs> so like, 
like uh, everything else that I've built has been, or that I'm building, has been like based around marketing that. Um, like that's why most of the content on Instagram is like stuff that's about topics that I'm already talking about on the podcast. Um, or it's like pieces of like the podcast. Like that's something I'm going to start doing more of. I've only done like one of those so far where it's like a little micro snippet of like a minute of the, of an actual episode. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. like making videos out of that. I, I want to start doing more of that. So it's like branded throughout there's the a, feed. Do you, uh, there's a, a app. There's an app that I use on the computer that does all of that. You can just put the audio with the picture on it and it'll even do the wavelength with the actual Oh, really? Symbol. It'll do all of that. Yeah, literally. And then you just, if you, if you don't pay the fee per month, like for the per month fee, you only get like a minute or like 60 seconds free. Um, but if you pay, I think like the, whatever the monthly is, you get like, like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Like 90 minutes or some shit or like, okay. you get like a get a shit ton but yeah I'll, I'll have to send you the, the site and, and uh, awesome but yeah no i'll definitely yeah i'll send you that site dude because uh there i used it one time because i i didn't have enough money for like the monthly shit i'm 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 broke so like real you know I mean? real so like uh so so uh i i try to do everything that i can like as free as possible so um i i did it like one time and then if you don't do it if you don't pay and you and you just do the, the free one it renews mm -hmm. like a you can do it like you could do like a 15 second clip four times once a week if you want and break it up like that and you'll have like six a full like oh you know it's, what like, I mean? it's like a minute a week okay yeah, yeah, it's, like a, yeah gotcha. it's like a minute every i think they give you like a minute every so often so like you can break it up however you want but you only get like a minute allotted throughout that so like if you pay you get more but if you don't, you get that. But you get it renewed every like month or so or something like that. So then like you can redo it every month. The only reason why I know that is because they sent me an email and they were like, Your 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 new minute is renewed, so go ahead and use it up however you like or some shit. And it's just like But yeah, but yeah, no. Yeah, yeah dude. No, that's yeah, actually that's, that's really, No, that's another thing too, man, is I I really want to um stay connected with you and then just kinda like you know, keep getting info from you and stuff like that. Go back and forth on 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 Most things definitely. that I know that, that can help each other out. Because, like, there's some stuff that that you know that um, damn, I don't know why this thing says 20 seconds remaining. But um, if it cuts off, my, oh, I think my battery's dying. I know that. I was trying to plug it my phone in. I don't know if that has right. anything to do with it. If it cuts off, I'll message you. But it was an amazing talk. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have to get on it again, man, for sure. <laughs> for sure, 100%, man. So that's Samuel Martinez the fourth, everybody. Uh, you can find him on Instagram at S Martinez IV. That's S Martinez IV. Um, or you can check out his podcast, the PRA podcast, all about progression, leveling up, and finding your own self fulfillment and your passion in life. Um, links for everything will be in the show notes links to his podcast links to uh, his own link tree so you can find his content um, that will be in the show notes as well and I also wanted to invite you guys to a free five lesson training this is the same training that I went through when I closed my Shopify store and learned how to affiliate market by providing valuable content by actually marketing correctly and giving value first so that when people actually sign or when people sign up for my affiliate uh, programs or, or click my affiliate links, they're actually grateful. They're happy to, to give me a sale. And if you guys want to learn how to do this um, for yourself, this training was done by my mentor. It's not a training that is um, performed by me. This is the exact training that I went through. Um, when I learned how to do all this correctly and as soon as I came out um, I started providing value in Facebook groups and I was getting sales at the gate and that's what led to my thousand dollar day um, everything that you need is in this training if you're an action taker and you're ready to get this done and start making money online and you are ready to put in the work because it's gonna take work and time to create this content and you just don't know which direction to go then this training is for you it's actually it's absolutely free um, it'll be linked up in the show notes as well thank you guys for listening I really 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 
appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you. I hope you're having a great day, a great week, and a great life. Peace.